Once upon a time, there lived a beautiful princess who lived in a beautiful castle with her mom, dad, three sisters, and brothers. Honey, your mother and I have decided that you will want to be queen. You are too much of a free spirit to enjoy spending all of your time sitting in a room. I've wanted to be a queen all of my life. I'll be fine. I'll manage it. No, dear, we don't want you to be stuck in this castle. You'll be happier somewhere else without all of the tedious work and responsibilities. But I can't leave. You're here, and my sisters and brothers are here. Your mother and I have decided you would be happier somewhere else. And with that, despite her pleas and protests, they ushered the princess to the front door. Off she goes to walk in Rome, looking for a place to call her home. She'll know it when she sees that place. It'll have room and a friendly face. So the father from the castle she got and the colder it became. The wind began to blow harder and soon snow was falling all around her. The wind and the snow called to her. You've lost everything. Your family sends you away and you're far from home. Lay down and let me cover you with cold. You won't need friends, family, or a home. No, I'll make new friends and find a new home. They only sent me away because they want me to be happy. But you're not happy. And you don't know that you will find what you are looking for. You can travel the whole world and never find a friend. I should know. I've done it. There's no one here for you. No one to hold your hand or make you smile. Give up. Give, give in. Up, give in. Give up. Give up. Give up. The princess was now starting to believe her journey might be hopeless. Tears began to gather in her eyes. When she looked at the wind and snow and realized something. But when do you found a friend? You and the snow are friends. You spend all winter together. You work together so well. Surely you're friends. And if you both can find a friend, then so can I. The wind and snow were surprised to find that the little princess was right. The wind blew more softly and the snow fell more lightly as they pondered this. There are people out here who love me, even if they aren't here, even if I haven't met some of them yet. They're out there and I choose to be hopeful and content while I look for them. You are right. You are very wise. And we thank you for showing us that we are friends. As the wind and snow quieted, the princess continued on. Although she was still cold and tired, she had more hope and determination in her heart. Off 
she goes to walk in Rome, looking for a place to call her home. She'll know it when she sees that place. It'll have room and a friendly face. After hours of walking, the princess saw a small square of light and went toward it. Oh, how I long for my own dear bed in my own room. The princess was so consumed with the thoughts of her home that she did not notice that the house she approached was not her castle. She was so tired and cold, she climbed into the big bed, mistaking it for her own. Many hours passed as she slept in the bed until the witch returned. What are you doing in my bed? Why are you in my house? No, this is my bed. I came in here to sleep. Why are you here? Get out of my house, you little ragged woman. How dare you speak to me that way? You were not making any sense. I was exhausted and fell into my own bed, right? You're being ridiculous. I'm ridiculous, am I? I'll teach you to break into a, a witch's house and sleep in her bed and then argue about it. We'll see how ridiculous you are as a dog. With those words, she waved her staff and the little princess became a little dog. Now, thoroughly confused, the poor girl knew only that she did not want to be near the awful woman anymore, so she ran out of the house and into the woods. Off she goes to walk in Rome, looking for a place to call her home. She'll know it when she sees that place. It'll have room and a friendly face. Very soon, the princess became tired and sat down under the nearest tree to catch her breath and think. I don't like it here and I feel funny. What can I do? I'll go home. They'll help me and maybe they'll listen to me now. They'll see that they shouldn't have sent me away and they'll let me stay. But I don't know which way to go. We can help you. Is this way to your life? Right over here, come towards me. No, that's why. Just this way to your left. We can help you. Right over there. It's this way to your right. No, this way. Yes, this way. Just this way to your we left. We can help you. Right over here, come yes, towards just me. just this way to your left. This way to your right. Just this, this way to your left. You're all shouting different directions. I don't know what any of you are saying. Overwhelmed and confused, the dog princess began to run, but she tripped. I can't even run. I can't put my face in my hands because my hands don't work. Oh, I can't even cry the same. I can't go back to my family and I have no friends and no home. Excuse me. I know you don't know me. I happen to be passing by and I heard your troubles. I know of a place you might like. If you're willing, I can show you. The princess, seeing no other options, quietly agreed and followed her new bunny guide. So off she goes to walk in Rome, looking for a place to call her home. She'll know it when she sees that place. It'll have room 
in a friendly face. The princess was surprised to find that the place they were going was filled with other animals. Hi. Hello. Oh, Hello. Boy. Hi. Yeah. Hello. Oh, my Hello. goodness. Hello. Well Good met. to meet you. Why are you all here? We live here. Why are you here? I was lost in the woods, and this bunny found me and invited me here. How do you all know each other? We met each other the same way I met you. We used to get lost in the woods all the time. I just get so confused. I hold it off. So off. We ran into each other in a nice clover patch. Neither of us wanted to be alone. So Shelley and I decided to find a spot here in the woods to live together. And others heard about our little home and joined us. Shelley and I were friends when we both lived on the farm. She came back to visit and told me about her home in the woods. A while later, I heard the farmer talking about cooking me up, and I was so scared. But then Shelley invited me to live with her in the woods, and I came right away. I didn't need a place to live. Ooh, I have a very nice tree hollow. Oh, but I was so bored and alone. Oh, now I come oh, hang out with Bernice any time I want. Oh, oh, it's especially nice in the winter when no one else is about. Oh, oh. Bernice? That's me. Yes, winters are much nicer now. With so many animals snuggled together, we're quite cozy in the winter. And well fed. A year ago, my family kicked me out, and I would have starved if Bernice hadn't invited me in and shared his food with me. We all pitch in, so there's enough for everyone. Well, it's not all roses and rainbows. I'd eat you all up if my husband wasn't so fond of you. That's Felina. She doesn't mean that. She likes to act as if she doesn't like anybody, but she's secretly fond of one or two of the other animals here. And also, she's quite good at games. You can play games? What kind? Gold sword. Oh, my favorites are tag and high as sick. I like the crafts best. Oh, yes, me too. <laughs> The crafts are nice. We like to sing too. Nevermore to walk or roam. Won't you come and share our home? No matter what the seasons bring, we'll share our That's right, we keep busy. Will you join us? I'd love to, but I miss my family terribly. I couldn't enjoy myself if I never got to see them again. They live in a castle somewhere outside the woods. That's not a problem. You can see them whenever you like. Of course, it's a long way to the castle on foot, and it's quite dangerous for smaller animals like us. But Olivia could fly there. And take a message to them, telling them where you are and inviting them to visit you. Would you be willing to do that? Certainly, dear. Then I can help you explore the forest. And I can make up a bed for you. And we'll all have dinner together. Well, that does sound nice. I suppose I could stay for a few days and see how it goes. Yay! Oh, That's good. So, the little princess, who is now a dog, lived in the forest with her new friends. The king, queen, 
and the young princess and princess came often to visit her. The princess spent the rest of her days playing and laughing contentedly in the woods. The end.